Hello, 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 and welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman Swag, and the W is silent. Thank you guys in advance on the intro, and we're going to get right into this Wendy Williams story. So, guys, I was watching on Joe Budden's podcast, JBP, and the panel was discussing the Wendy Williams documentary. And everyone on the panel was in agreement that the documentary was an exploitation of Wendy Williams. Not one or two people, but everyone on the panel, guys. We're going to listen to a couple of clips from the panel. And, you know, we're going to continue to discuss this story. The documentary was supposed to be a comeback documentary for Wendy. In which I've said she needs to just go ahead and retire. But that was the intent of the documentary. But it was clear, guys, that something was not right. We're going to listen to some clips and, you know, continue to discuss this. But JBP, his panel was like, no, no, no. You can say what you want to say now that we're, you're getting the negative feedback from this. But you knew something wasn't right. And guess what? You continued to film. So, guys, let's listen to uh, a clip from JBP. And we're gonna come back. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I'm, I'm not rolling with none of that. They say me either. Like, no, 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 no. Because one of the, the other quote was, "We didn't know she had dementia. We didn't know anything about the diagnosis. We had we known, we wouldn't have had a yeah. camera rolling. They didn't know anything until her son said something. So, oh. mm-hmm. and like I said, I only saw the first two parts. Mm-hmm. I saw the first two. Episodes. I saw enough in there to know that something. To the was point wrong. where the producers was like, "Okay, we need to stop. Mm-hmm. We need to get out." Let's yes, I mean, I agree. If if it was that, if if people or the viewers can see it, you know that those producers and everyone in Wendy's circle was able to see that she was not well enough to do that documentary. They could see that that would just ruin Wendy's legacy. And why would you want to do somebody like that? Well, you would want to do somebody like that because. That individual determines how you feed your family. So you don't care. You just want to feed your family. You just want to make that money. And if what it does to her legacy, her career, or just her health in general, you don't care. I've told you guys many times when I talked about Wendy that I never believed that the people in her circle had her back. And we saw a a quick decline in her health after she got a divorce and she didn't have Kevin to fight them off and stand in those gaps. Yeah, I get a lot of slack for the way I feel about that situation, her and Kevin. But at the end of the day, I do not feel like Wendy would be in this situation if she had somebody who really had her best interest at heart. And these people do not. Um, And again, JBP, the panel was like, nope, they're nothing but parasites. Let's listen to the clip and we're going to come back, guys. Word their livelihood relies on her. Mm -hmm. And in that way, that. that in itself is a kind of parasitic Mm -hmm. relationship Mm -hmm. and it's imbalanced and so when you're thinking there's no way that you're going to be thinking about you know you're going to be thinking completely altruistic and it's all about her health and shut everything down because at the end of the day your bottom line will be affected if she no longer works so yeah they're just parasitic they're 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 just there to leash off of wendy and get everything they want guys this i watched the joe budden podcast and you know uh, a lot of the stories are very interesting but this this particular story was it, it was just different so if you get a chance please take a moment to watch it i'm going to leave the link in the description so you guys can see it now toward the end of um, jbp's discussion about wendy williams Um, Lifetime documentary They went on to say how she seemed To love the spotlight And that Her fans and the people gave her life 
they talked about how Wendy react and seemed like she just was filled with a good energy and just life whenever the people were speaking and wanting to wanting to take pictures with her and hug her and they were saying Wendy Wendy and um, doing the how you doing and things of that nature say you know they said that she just seemed to just get life and that was a clear indication that she loved the spotlight but you know what guys there's also a clear, clear indication that the love of the spotlight can be an addiction and what will that do that will make you use the drugs use the alcohol and do whatever it takes to be able to stand up in front of the crowd so guys i just don't i just feel like wendy is just in a lose-lose situation right now and i don't want to see that documentary i want to remember wendy as the wendy who was on hsn when i modeled for her i want to remember wendy as the wendy who was doing comedy when i saw her i want to remember wendy as the wendy on the wendy williams show i don't want to remember her as that individual on that lifetime documentary so we're going to look at a few of the comments and see what the people have to say hillary robertson says i just had to drop a comment to say how amazing this video was and guys that's what i told you like there was just something different and special about this video and i hope you take the time to watch it the shaw day 99 says i couldn't get past the first five minutes it seems wrong to watch she's evidently being exploited she would never in a million years want us to see her like this. And that's what I just said, guys. I just don't want to see her in that state. I want to remember Wendy the way I know her. Um, Frenchie Flex says, alcohol-induced dementia. She can get better. She just can't drink anymore. Um, my grandmother had the same thing. We put her in a rehab center, and she got her memory back. And then you have those who are holding on to the past. It says, uh, Morris Epps says, didn't she exploit people her whole career? I don't see the problem here. You read what you sow. And everything that's happening is supposed to happen. And you know, in the previous video that I made of Wendy, I've talked about how she made peace with a lot of people that she hurt. And people in my comment were saying, you know, an apology is not enough. You know, this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, what one thing about God and his grace is that he forgives and he doesn't think about it anymore. He separates our sins and, and our iniquities and everything that we do. As far as the East is from the West, so they never come back. So when you think of people like this, I always think of God and how gracious he is. Have you watched the documentary? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thanks so much for listening. And if you haven't, please make sure, guys, you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification so you'll know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.